Hi everyone, it's Luna. If you're a beginner of Chimaxa, I'd like to share my personal experiences. This might help you to find the best way to apply Chimaxa to your life. In previous videos, we discussed stomach and kidney energy. This time, we'll talk about soreness. To help simplify this, I'll put pain in two categories. First, the pain which likes to be touched. I call it empty pain or soreness. Second, the pain which resists to being touched. I call it solid pain. What is the difference between these two kinds of pain? When the body lacks vital energy, things happen. Sometimes your body gets chilled, so the tendons shorten and muscles contract. Sometimes overused muscles have minor injuries. Self-healing cannot be completed due to a lack of vital energy. In these situations, soreness occurs. As these times you like to massage sore spots because the massage increases local temperature and circulation to relieve the soreness. If these situations are getting worse, muscle contractions will pull the bone to malalignment. Furthermore, blood vessels, nerves and energy flow will be affected or blocked and toxins accumulate. Eventually, solids such as calcification, clots or tumors will be developed. Now, pain areas will be resistant to be touched because touch makes it more painful. Chimaxa can relieve soreness, but solid pain is beyond our topic. Let's see how to use Chimaxa to take care of soreness. Sore necks and wrists are common because we use computers daily. Today, let's talk about the sore neck and sore wrist. Because our body parts are connected with each other, one sore spot may relate to another body part. Make sure to check out both local and remote spots. First, the sore neck is because of our forward head posture. For the local spots, we put a pad on GV14 and a pad on the back side of the neck. GV14 is on the spine and below C7. It's easy to find. When your head is down, there is a biggish bone at the end of the neck, which is C7. Because our spine has a natural alignment with four curves, when the neck goes forward, the lumbar goes backwards. Check out to see if there are tender spots of the paraspinal muscle along the lumbar area. Put a pad on that remote tender area so it won't be a problem later. Second, the soreness of the wrist mostly is because of overuse of the index and middle fingers. If this is the reason, put one pad on the sore wrist site. The other pad goes on the muscle's origin. Find the tender spot on the lateral site or the thumb site of the elbow, which is the muscle's origin the remote spot of the wrist soreness. However, in some cases, the wrist soreness can be the result of poor circulation of the shoulder joint or the paraspinal muscle. If you cannot find the remote spot around the elbow, you can check out around the shoulder or paraspinal muscles. Putting a pad on the sore spot can relieve the discomfort. Putting a pad on the remote tender spot is taking care of the root of the soreness and make sure the soreness will not come back again. Remember, every pain has a story. Do you listen and interpret your body's story? Thanks for watching. This is Luna. 
I'll see you next time. Thank you.